Professional Services Tools Library. As part of GP10, GP2010 and GP2013, there are a number of free tools which were previously chargeable to customers, which uh, you now get free as part of any new installation and any upgrade. One of those is the Professional Services Tools Library. Uh, it's quite a handy little tool, uh, and what, what it can enable you to do is things such as copy an existing company settings to a new company, you can amend debtor IDs, creditor IDs, inventory items, account numbers, you can completely disable a database, and you can also set up master databases so that if you set up debtors, creditors, account codes, when you click save, it automatically rolls them down to subsidiary companies. So, the first one I'll start off with is the copy company. So I'll go mark the copy company and click next. What it enables you to do is find the company that you want to copy from and the company that you want to copy to. And so basically what you can do is you can say I want to copy all my data and that's static data and setup information. What you can also do is you have a range of reports such as trial balances, setup lists, reports that you run on a regular basis and have saved, you can also copy those with the report options. You can choose all modules or select or select or select a range. Once you've chosen which one you want to copy, you simply click the process button and what it will do at the back end is copy all the required data over to the new company database. If you want to change your chart of accounts, there's a number of things you can do. You can change or combine an account number. So basically, if you have an account code which has got 10 years worth of data and you no longer need to use that account number or combine it with another one, you can create a new account number which will then transfer all the history over to the new code as if the original code had never existed. You can do individual codes or a range of codes and you can also import those codes very easily with a spreadsheet and the spreadsheet simply needs to contain two columns the column on the left is the original reference and the column on the right will be the reference that you want to convert it to and once you've clicked on the import and the validate you simply then click convert to change your account numbers to whatever you want them to be the same applies for customers and also vendors. One thing that's very good is the master triggers, and you see you've got GL master triggers, PM master triggers, and RM master triggers. What that enables you to do is have a master database, which you identify as being the main company that you'll set things up in, and what happens is anything that you set up in this company will automatically scale down to the companies you identify. So I'm going to show you the account modifier and combiner. I'm going to show you the GL master triggers. And you set your master database ID and the database that you want to replicate down to. And you simply say whether you want to do accounts, creditors or debtors. And you can simply untick debtors and creditors as they're probably more likely to be database specific. But then you can set it up so that when you create a new account code, any new nominal code will be set up within the master database. 